So some of you guys saw my last Instagram post, and a few of you asked if I could post a video about pruning peppers. And as you might know, I'm a big proponent of pruning peppers. And the reason that I do this is a lot of times you'll get a plant from a nursery that looks like this. It's generally healthy pepper plant, but it's very tall and lanky. All of its growth hormone is concentrated towards the top of the plant, which basically is shooting the plant up, but not out. And so what we want to do is try and reroot that hormone back down into the plant, concentrate it towards the base, get it to branch out some, and we're going to do that by pruning. Now, I spent years growing peppers before I ever started using this technique because I was terrified of cutting baby peppers off. But I'm going to go ahead and show you first, before we start pruning, what ones that I did two weeks ago look like. This one's pretty insane, and I wish I had a before picture of it. As you can see, there's a ton of new growth on top. And all of this, this is where I cut the stem, right here in the middle. And you can see a little bit of scarring there. But all of these little leaves, all of this new growth has happened in the last two weeks. And it's just, it still blows my mind how big and beautiful and green these plants get just from a little bit of pruning right at the top. Like none of these side shoots were even there last week, um, the week before last. And we do this because we want healthier, happier plants. If you have a plant like this and you let it keep growing, what it's going to continue doing because of the way that the auxin is directing, the, root, the growth hormone is directing the plant, it's going to keep growing up and it's going to keep getting taller. Now the issue you're going to have with that is that it's going to require staking later on during the season. If you don't stake it, you're going to have a plant that's going to be falling over, touching the ground, maybe even breaking from the weight of the fruit. And realistically, you're just not going to get as much production from a plant like this as you are from one like this. There's more branches for flowers to set on, which means you're going to get more fruit. So I'll prune maybe two or three times throughout the season. I'll prune now when they're in pots, when I get them home from the nursery. I may prune ones like this again, just to get it to bush out more, depending on the size of the pepper. If it's a very big, heavy pepper, I'll definitely prune it again. And then I'm going to snip off any flowers, buds, fruit, right before they get put in the ground, because you have all season, you guys. Even if you're in a short season climate, these guys will keep trying to pump out more fruit, more peppers. So do not be afraid to prune them back. So I'm going to show you what I do. You can either use a sharp pair of sewing scissors or a knife, whatever you're more comfortable with. Um, the one thing about a knife is it will crush the stem if it's not super sharp. So I kind of prefer using scissors, but I always carry a knife. So if I don't have a pair of scissors on me, and I see something that needs pruning, I may just pull my knife out. Um, this one I've already pruned, and as you can see, it's just this little spot right here. So I'm going to show you a couple of different examples. We're going to start with one. There was one I saw that was kind of perfect for this. Let's see. Ah, So here's one that we had a puppy chew on two days ago. And as you can see, the top is starting to try and come back but it's just a really tall, kind of leggy looking plant. Now, this is gonna be scary. I'm not lying. Um, because it looks like you're chopping all your plant off. But what I'll do is, I look for the first Y that's happening on this plant. See, there's lower leaf set here. There's still a leaf here. This leaf got chewed. You could even cut it at this point, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut it down here because this plant just needs to, it needs to come back. And I can see, you can see, um, the new growth happening just right in these little points. Maybe if I put my finger over it, yeah. So we're just going to take it. I'm going to cut it at an angle right maybe a centimeter above that new growth. Boop, just like that. And I do it at an angle so that when we water them, the water doesn't sit on the cut and cause bacteria or disease or anything to sit and fester. The angle really helps everything kind of slide right off of it. Whereas if you do it straight, it keeps the stem open a little bit for um, potential problems. So these guys are cut. I can show you some more <laughs> if this is scaring you because, yeah, these are like, there's no plants left anymore. Um, this is another one that I did two weeks ago. And he was a little bit taller and stockier. I just whacked him off right there. But he was probably about this tall. So it was about twice the size of the plant now. You can see right there is where he got cut and all of this new growth that's coming out it's going to branch out more in like the next week or so it's going to be a really beautiful bushy plant i also did this with all of our shishito peppers and that was one of the ones that was the picture you saw on instagram so you can see the cut on this shishito 
all of the new growth along each leaf node, there are new leaves coming out. All of the growth hormone has rerouted itself back down the stem and out where all of the growth nodes were at each leaf. And this is great with the shishitas because we're looking for lots of production. Everyone here loves shishitas. We need as many peppers as possible. This was a really sad looking plant, um, if you look at this guy. And he only had maybe six leaves when I got him, but I really wanted this variety. And so I did the same thing. There was two leaves at the bottom, two leaves right here, and I cut right above those two. I think it had three sets. I wouldn't cut anything that has less than three sets. You can do two, you're kind of pushing it. It's too baby of a plant. Like you really need to wait until there's at least three sets of leaves on your plant with those growth nodes so that it has some place to branch out. Because otherwise, if it only has the ones at the bottom, which it's doable, but you're just gonna end up with a very bushy pepper. So as you can see, this one's getting new growth on top. It's starting to come out the sides down here as well. It's well on its way to being a happier, healthier plant. So let me show you again Here's a perfect example. We're looking for the Y. We want to cut right above a Y. You could cut higher up on this, but again, if you're dealing with this much height and this much length of stem, you're still going to have something that's bending. Since we have a lot of season left and it's a very narrow stem, I'm just going to go right above this Y right here and just cut that right out. Phew. And you're gonna do that with all of these. Now I have, um, I don't know, a dozen different peppers here. So if you're scared, you can always do one and let it grow side by side with your others. But you're probably gonna kick yourself two weeks from now and go, dang, I should have done that with all of my peppers. It took me, it really did take me a few years to be brave enough to do this with my plants. But once I started doing it and seeing the effects, I mean, I just, I can't go back now. Um, it's really great with hot peppers. So we have some Carolina Reapers here. And these guys are little short bushy plants that take forever to grow, um, from seed at least. And so once it gets hot, they'll start taking off. It's a little scarier to do it with the Reaper. You've waited for so long for the plant to start growing. But again, I'm probably going to take it, I usually go down like, I count the baby leaves in the middle one, and then two with this first Y. I might count this leaf into that as well. And so I'll go down looking to see that there are two, three, two or three sets of leaves. And I'm going to cut right above that set, right here, but just below this growth. Anywhere you cut above the leaf and above the new growth in that leaf. Wait, the tag's in the way here, let's see, okay. So the growth happens between the stem and the leaf. If you're cutting above that, you're going to get branching out from there. If you cut below it, there's not going to be any branching out anywhere below that. So basically what we're doing is training the shape of this plant. So if I were to cut above this leaf, right here, then this would grow as well. But I don't think, I actually might want that. I'm gonna inspect it a little more closely. Yeah, let's try it there. So, Sometimes we're not cutting right above a Y because the leaves don't grow in a perfect Y. So you kind of have to decide where you want that cut to be and how tall you want it to be. I'm usually taking off about a third to half of the height of the plant on this first cut. And so then you'll see we're going to get a, br a branch right here, a branch right here, a branch right here, and a branch right here, everywhere that there's a leaf. That should be a pretty well-shaped plant. I actually think that I'm going to take that top leaf off as well because that is going to create a weird shape. So now this will bush out differently. This is the other reaper I have. See, this is the uncut and this is the cut. And while this looks bigger and badder right now, this guy is going to be way bushier and it's going to produce more peppers, which is what we're looking for. So I can do a few more. This one you can see is already starting to get new growth. I love that because then you can kind of decide okay, this new growth is branching out nicely and I want to keep it. The problem is you get stuff like this where the new growth is weak because all of the growth hormone is in the top of the plant. So if we want these bottom ones to branch out more, we got to lop this off. I'm going to take this one. What is this? This is the Padron. These get really tall and really heavy. The bigger your pepper is, the shorter you're going to want to go initially so that your plant doesn't break. I hate staking. We already have like 100 tomatoes that we're going to have to stake. Let's not deal with it with the peppers. 
So I'm going to take him off right here, which is about halfway up the plant. It's terrifying. <laughs> but I promise, I promise, I will, I don't know, I will replace your pepper. I won't replace your pepper because I can't mill peppers all over the U.S. But I promise that you are not going to kill your pepper if you do this. You're just pruning. Don't, like, whack it across the bottom, although this one you could because there's leaves there. And I'd say don't be afraid. Like, don't just snip the little top off because that's not going to do a whole lot for you. It will start to bush out, but you're still going to have a leggy plant. So this one, let's see. I'm going to do it. Actually, I'm going to do this one pretty low. So this... This is a purple jalapeno. They're pretty vigorous growers. I'm going to do him right there. And that's how you prune peppers. So if you have any questions, uh, please comment below. That was a really long video for pepper pruning, but I hope that you have a um, better idea of how to do this. And yeah, hit me up with any questions. And let me know what you want to see next in the garden because um, I can show you any tips, tricks, techniques for just about any edible plant. All right. See you later, guys. Bye.